Hey guys, this is Mike and today we're going to have a quick look at this. Uh, these are a pair of air speakers from Logitech. They're called the Logitech UE air speakers. And uh, basically these are speakers that uh, are working with uh, AirPlay's, with Apple's AirPlay technology. Uh, that allows you to wirelessly stream audio, video and uh, uh, and of course photos uh, from a compatible device to another. In this case you're only going to stream of course uh, audio uh, content and uh, if you're going to compare AirPlay streaming with what you get with uh, Bluetooth streaming with AirPlay the quality is going to be vastly improved. So high quality speakers uh, that uh, won't require any cables, won't require you to connect any cables to them except of course for the power cable. Okay, so we have the Logitech uh, UE speakers here. These are, uh, these were just recently launched. They go for 400 euros, 400 dollars in the States. Uh, they're looking like this. Uh, technical uh, uh, specifications are available on the site uh, and in the description below. Uh, basically, they're quite uh, quite big, uh, but uh, they're not uh, meant uh, to be moved around. Just put them on your in your living room, and you go, you're going to have them there. They're quite powerful, and uh, they look uh, quite uh, quite good as well. Uh, on top, you have just three buttons. You have this, which is a volume rocker. You have a power button, and you have a mute button. Uh, this part is covered in glossy plastic. Uh, and on our unit it's uh, protected by the thin foil. I haven't yet uh, uh, peeled it off because uh, this glossy cl plastic I feel is going to scratch quite, uh, quite fast. So I'm going to leave it in there for, for a while. Uh, on the back you have these air, air cones over here and you have the connectors, there aren't that many. You have a LAN adapter, you have an audio output connector, audio input actually connector, and you have the power connector as well. And over here there is this button, which is actually a wireless uh, connectivity button. It's going to force it to force the device to connect to your wireless network. And of course, on the front you have the docking connector. You just have to push it like this and it has the standard 30 pin Apple connector. It's gonna work with the iPad, it's gonna work with the iPod and the iPhone as well. Uh, not with all generations but uh, there are some specifications you have to have I believe iOS 4.2 or greater in order to be able to work to use uh, your devices with this AirPlay uh, speaker. Okay so let's go ahead and connect the power plug. I have it right here and I'm gonna show you how these are going to work. Okay, and for that, I'm having my iPad over here. And it's actually quite simple. Uh, probably so in my unboxing, you're going to have to download this application. It's called Logitech UE Air. And uh, you're gonna have to download it, put it, uh, install it on your computer, and then connect the device. First you're gonna have to power the device on, on and it's gonna take like I believe 35 seconds. And let me show you that there are some LEDs here. So I'm pressing the power button for like I think it should be pressed for like five seconds. Okay nothing really happening let me make sure that connected this properly okay so there is this LED blinking here on top you can see it and for this you have the uh, mute button will have a similar LED over here so right now the device is open uh, first you're gonna have to uh, set up your device uh, going to need an iPhone or an iPad, but you can also do it with a Mac or a, or a PC. Uh, the menu is gonna help you with that, and then you can just you have multiple ways to use it. First of all, you can connect your device over here to the docking station. Now with the iPad, it's not gonna look that good, but uh, with the iPhone, it's gonna be a little bit better actually. So right now we have the device connected over here. And we can go ahead and select some music. And 
we're using the, the air speakers right now. They're very loud, you can see. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to turn the volume on because my neighbors are gonna kill me. And you have a couple of options here. With the air speaker, you can adjust the treble and you can adjust the bass as well. Okay, so those are the important settings. Not There aren't that many because uh, Logitech says they're going to make this one simple to use. So it's more about uh, how fast it's going to work and less about how, uh, how many settings you're actually having in here. Uh, of course, this is how you can use a device without AirPlay. But now let's see how AirPlay is going to work. Going to remove this from the docking. Close this, uh, this connector. And I'm going to put it right over here. Okay, so now uh, let's go ahead once again. Open music. And from here, you have this button, the AirPlay button. Probably notice it like this. You're gonna have to select Logitech Air Speakers. And then you're just gonna have to press play. It takes a bit of time to connect to the, to the speakers. Oh well, come on. So I saw that it took a couple of uh, couple of seconds uh, before it connected. Once it's connected, you can adjust volume from here. Once again, you can use those those settings and uh, adjust uh, the sound quality based on your preferences. And of course, you can't you don't have to use this only for for music. You can also use it. For instance, let's go have let's go on YouTube gonna have a clip here on YouTube and you can use it to to watch clips on YouTube as well so this is a we're using once again we're using the pixel is 3300 and some quality is actually very good and you can also use it for movies for instance let's go ahead and find movies where is it where is it Okay, so videos, I'm gonna have a trailer over here. Let's run it. And we're once again using those speakers. So if you want something more punchy, something better in your house, and uh, still want to watch the content on your tablet, you can still use that one. We are surrounded by enemies. Okay, so you definitely saw that there's, these are punches, there's a lot of volume involved in here. Uh, I've closed this one and uh, I'm also going to show you that you can use the air speakers with a regular laptop. And for that, I'm gonna have to open my laptop over here. Let's see how long it's gonna take. But uh, AirPlay only allows you to, allows to stream one uh, music from one device uh, at a time. And uh, because of that, it's going to take a bit of time to change between, uh, between devices. On a PC, in order to make it to work, you have to follow a setup. Once again, it's explained in the manual. But uh, then, you're going to have to open iTunes. So you need iTunes if you want to, to be able to use AirPlay. And uh, in iTunes, you're going to have to go to Edit. Probably not going to see a lot of things here, but uh, my article will tell you more details. Add it and then you're going to have to go to devices. And from devices you're going to have to uh, press this to allow iTunes uh, control from uh, for remote speakers. And once you do this, uh, you're going to find here uh, this uh, AirPlay icon. And uh, you can output uh, audio from the speakers of your laptop like it is right now. So this is the speakers, these are the speakers on my laptop. Or you can go ahead and output it via the air speakers. Once again, it's gonna take a while before it connects. It was actually faster than I was expecting. 
so I'm now listening to music on, the, on that one. So this is definitely something very good because the speakers on my, on my laptop are actually very poor. And once again, you can use this for a video, you can use this for YouTube watching or all this kind of, all, all this kind of stuff. Um, actually, I don't think you can output content from your PC, from YouTube, because, like I said, this is going to only work with iTunes. So let me go ahead and try this. Yeah, so I was wrong. You can only use iTunes. You can play uh, your files from iTunes and output it uh, via AirPlay from a PC or from a Mac. Otherwise, from you saw that from a tablet or from an iPhone or iPad, you can actually all run all these kinds of uh, content via the speakers on, uh, on this one. Okay, so basically th those are all the details I wanted to, to show you. Unfortunately, there's no way to show, to tell you, to actually to show you how good the speakers uh, really are. Uh, I'd say they're very, very good. And what's more imp important, uh, the, uh, the wireless streaming quality is excellent. Definitely better than what you get on Bluetooth speakers. And uh, for me, this is the first time I'm trying AirPlay speakers. Uh, for sure, I'm, I'm impressed with them. But uh, once again, this goes for 400 euros. So AirPlay, it's not, uh, it's not cheap. Uh, there are some other models that are a little bit uh, more affordable, uh, definitely smaller, definitely less punchier, but more affordable. But uh, if you want something very good for your living room, uh, like an audio system that uh, you can use to connect to all your, all your uh, Apple uh, devices, iPhone, iPods, iPads, uh, this is something you should, you should consider. Okay, more details on the site and in the description below. And uh, once again, don't forget, if you like this clip, thumbs up it's gonna help us a lot and of course subscribe to our channel and uh, leave us your comments in the commentary forms below thank you that was mike with the logitech ue air speakers with uh, apple's airplay technology